Is this thing working? To all of our students, and especially our class of 2020, the science teachers at Norwin wish we could finish the school year with you the way we started, together. We have enjoyed sharing our passion of science with you and seeing you in person improve as thinkers and learners. You don't need us to tell you that this definitely wasn't the fourth nine weeks that you were planning for, but from a science teacher's perspective, it wasn't a total loss. For example, you experimented to determine the effect of initial water temperature. On ramen noodle consistency. You analyzed airflow through a variety of fabrics for face masks. Now you've seen real engineering in action by how each store has gone about installing those clear plastic shieldings at their checkouts. You learned about chemical reactions when I asked you to bake cookies. <laughs> Hopefully now you can use the word asymptomatic in a sentence. You learned about the important role of our tiny friend yeast when baking bread. You graph trend lines to see how long your hand sanitizer supply would last. Getting close. You have a much better sense of what 1.82 meters is. Six feet apart, by the way. But more importantly, you can see the value of all the years that our medical professionals put in to be ready for just this moment. You follow news reports about our scientists racing to investigate new vaccines and treatments for the virus. You know how interconnected people are across the county, the country, and the world. You recognize that in situations, while there might not be any easy choices, science can help us try to make better choices. Vivi Ted! Will you please stop saying that? Sway away! We continue to learn more about the virus every day, but one thing is for certain, it's up to all of us to help stop the spread of COVID-19. As the weather gets nicer, it's not gonna be easy to follow guidelines <laughs> as you wanna just go out and have fun with your friends. Just remember, no matter how old you are, everyone's smart choices can help keep the curve flat. To all our students, but especially to our seniors. We know that your plans that were clear a few months ago might seem out of reach. But as the great inventor Alexander Graham Bell said, sometimes we stare so long at a door that is closing that we see too late the one that has already opened. A couple of centuries ago in 1665, when the bubonic plague raged across England, a young Isaac Newton was forced to leave college and return to his farmhouse to self-isolate. So, instead of moping around barns and playing Call of Duty until 3 a.m., he redoubled his efforts in his studies. Drops! In what would be known as the Year of Wonders, he came up with a theory of universal gravitation, made great strides in the field of optics, and came up with a little thing called calculus. And who doesn't like calculus? <laughs> hey. What? How you doing? I'm working. Hey, I'll give you $10 to raise your hand. <laughs> okay. 
So if the bubonic plague inspired advancements in science and mathematics, what advancements will be inspired by the COVID-19 pandemic? You'll only be part of the next generation of thinkers and doers if you keep up with your studies, even when it seems easier not to. And to the class of 2020, don't let what this year was not define for you what it still can be. We all have confidence in you, so go Knights! Go Knights! Go Knights! I hope everybody has a great summer. Go Knights! Go Knights! Go, go, go! We're going! We're going! Willow! Go Knights! <laughs> Go Knights! Amazon.com. That's the easiest $10 I ever made. <laughs>